It disgusted me more that this Brianna was proud of her weave rather than proud to made a decision not to screw a little bitch who would shoot her in the first place. To death. Shoot her to death. He wasn't trying to scare her. <laughs> he wanted her to die. Why? Because she said, I don't love you. Come on. And nobody want, like, g nobody wants to give these females credit. And the guys are completely out of line. But these are people that have shown their colors to the significant other party. J. Hud's sister, nobody wants to blame her. Everybody, I saw a bunch of people, oh, how dare you? Oh, it's not her fault. Now she's going to feel all this guilt. She should feel all this guilt. You dealing with somebody in prison and you know what they're capable of and then they come out and fulfill their characteristic expectations and you don't think you should take responsibility? And to tell you the truth, if, since I'm going on a rampage, I actually expected Beyonce to have issues before Rihanna did. Rihanna and her her situation beat him to the punch and I love B and I think she's a hell of a woman as a, in general as an individual she's always cares herself as a lady she's genuine she's strong when it comes to uh, business issues but there's always people some of the smartest people that when it comes to relations are nitwits so you know, and no, it doesn't surprise me that Jay-Z was all to Rihanna's defense. That don't... What does that mean? Do you seriously think... That's like homophobic people. You look at them and think, well, what issues do you have in the closet that you have to be so aggressively and viciously angry at people who choose to have a different sexual preference than you bitch so yeah it's a lot of powerful people a lot of smart people generally academically um, basically intelligent that are stupid when it comes uh, to uh, encountering the opposite sex I stopped listening to Tom Joyner behind it, them putting Noxzema on there <laughs> was about some relationships and then there was a segment with she and okra Noxima and okra to tell you all the best places to meet a man these two females beyond 40 who don't have one teaching us where and how to find a man the only thing okra can teach well Noxima can't the only thing okra can teach me is how to budget a billion dollars that's the only thing okra got for me. And the first thing that Brianna is concerned with is getting her back window fixed. Her back window fixed. How about you watch your back? Because he's in jail. He ain't dead. And keep in mind that he got his dumb friend to go in on to, to, to toss away his life too behind his personal relationship. Something he ain't have nothing to do with. But he willing to go under the jail with his friend behind shooting your dumb self. Keep that in mind. And it's a lot of them that, it's a, they, it's a lot of dudes, it's a lot of ignorant people with followers like that. Black ignorance. People sucking on her nips all day long. And she actually is doing more damage for the cause she claims she's <laughs> fighting for. And then everybody knows Captain Crunch. But to be fair, Captain Crunch got a bunch of kids. Well, both of them got a bunch of kids following them. But this is what's happening to the children. They're being raised by people who are not adults, and they, for, and, and they therefore never become adults either. And they probably, and these chicks, 
are probably following people like this are the first ones to holler where the good man at well you know what they all up in my grill ducking your dumb ass that's where they are the good real good women the real good the good men are busy paying attention to the good women check the mirror you check the mirror yeah I'd have made it. I'd have made it through the ordeal, and not because I, not just because I can whoop a dude, and not because I wear a weave, but because I don't deal with no whack ass dude that's quick to pop a cap before he'll man up and deal with his issues and emotions like an adult. But y'all need to go on and support one another, cause I don't. Gone and gone and titty nipping nuts up. Cause you stupid and you wanna be stupid and you gonna stay stupid. Girl, you know, if you want I can refer you to my weave titian. She do a real good job and then she put this click this Kevlar tracks in there and it just had just saved my life if you really want. Um, you know, that might be a good idea. After my experience, I think, um, that the higher end weave, although they look much better, um, might be better for me to use the ghetto version. Girl, I know, because if you look, it has shattered, all the bullets and stuff has shattered my back window, but I ain't worried about that, because I'm going to get that fixed. And that is my first priority after all this is over. Yes, well, I'd like to live next through the next one as well. So when I am back from Barbados, maybe I will give her a, a call. Do you have a card? Girl, she don't have no card. You could just go on over and just roll up in there saying Kansas, um, uh, Martin Luther King, and um, I think I'll do that. Um. What is her availability of schedule or? Girl, just walk on up in there. She'll see you. Just walk on in. Right then, lovely. Because I'm I'm quite tired of this roller coaster ride I'm on. You look so dumb right now.